All right, what is up, what is up, what is up? It's Lucas, and today I'm answering a question from, I hope I get this right, uh, Jasser, Yasser, Hasser. Um, I'll put the question up here somewhere. And again, apologize if I got the name wrong, but that's not the point that I'm trying to make here. Uh, yeah, I have a question that needs answers. So basically, we have an online coaching community. It's around 5,000 coaches or human beings who want to become coaches, who want to take their gifts, their knowledge, their experience, and turn it into an online coaching business. If you're not part of that community, it is free to join. Uh, check out lucasrubix.com for a link to that. So every once in a while, I'm like, yo, if you got questions, let me know, and I turn it into videos like this. So uh, Yasser or Jasser says, first, thanks for all your help. My question is about niche and sub niche. Let me explain. My niche is online fitness coaching for busy parents. You can input whatever niche you're thinking of getting into. Sub niche is like being focused on only moms um, or women. I see your work and you are uh, coaches, coach for any coach, and I'll explain why I really dislike that, but I'll get into it. Uh, there are people how to code coaches for coaches, just to build fitness businesses and others. There are more focused, sub niche, etc., etc. But I like your content way more. Should I go for sub niche or just be focused on what I do? What do you think? This whole idea of coaching coaches, although I get labeled as that, and people like sometimes I'll see ads and they're like, oh, look at this, like a coach for coaches. When does it end? Um, it's not. I don't help coaches become better coaches, although through experience and working with clients, you will. There are schools, there are life coaching academies, and there's all this stuff to help coaches become uh, better coaches. But when it comes to marketing, building a story, branding, driving attention, building out the lead gen and the sales systems, uh, that's something that coaches struggle with because they're so amazing or they're passionate about coaching, but attracting clients, they suck at. It's not their superpower. And so we install very simple systems that don't take a lot of time so you can actually build the systems, attract clients, build your email list, and sell your coaching programs. So that's what I do. And I understand why people are like, oh, you're a coach's coach, far from. Uh, but when it comes to marketing and storytelling and, and building your business around your expertise, that's what we do. So when it comes to niching and sub-niching and sub-sub-niching, we're really talking about the old idea was the blue ocean strategy, right? The ocean is blue, you go in there, you're a life coach, you have all the clients, and then 20 or 100 life coaches enter, and now the blood, the water is red because of all the competition, the sharks killing fish, all the stuff going on, competition, sharks killing sharks, the water is red. So the idea of, well, now we have to sub-niche game. Okay, well, I'm a life coach for busy professionals. Great, you open up blue water, you've got your thing, you're doing your thing, and then all of a sudden, more sharks come in, the market gets saturated, and you sub-niche, so forth and so forth. Nowadays, even the sub, 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 niches have become extremely saturated, so I don't necessarily play into that philosophy because there's a lot of different ways to niche or to stand out. And sub-niching is not enough anymore. It used to be but it's not enough anymore. And this post actually came from me talking about the doomsday of coaching. Is the markets are so saturated that just trying to figure out your niche and your sub niche and your sub 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 sub, sub niche is not enough. It's not gonna cut it because everyone's doing it and it's easy to do. And technology makes it easy to do. What's becoming extremely important, and it always has been, but it's even more important now, is building a connection. And why I don't sub, 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 sub niche and I keep it fairly open is because A, the things we do and implement work for any kind of coaching niche and I've worked in every kind of niche and it all works and it all sees results. How I choose to separate and differentiate is obviously through story. It's through an extremely value centric model where we give an amazing amount of value up front to build a relationship and a really strong relationship and of course a deep connection. And I do that through my stance and my positioning on things. So my creed, my beliefs, the things that I stand for, I openly share. So it starts repelling those who are like, man, I can't believe you said that. And it starts attracting those who resonate with what I have to say. So I don't necessarily have to sub, 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 niche. I can niche and sub niche, but I can really position myself as not only an expert, but I can position myself as different, as unique. So when people come across my value-centric model, they, they consume my content, they are hooked. Every time we get a client for any of our programs, they say, A, thank you for all the value. I was checking out a few different coaches, but 
you know, what they're charging for, you give away for free, perfect. Value centric, builds a massive amount of trust and of a relationship up front. Then through, they'll say it in many different ways, but your personality or your authenticity or the way that you approach things or the way that you, I just, I love what you stand for, what you believe in, it's all one and the same, is I'm very clear on my stance on things and I'm not afraid to share it. And if it offends you, it offends you. I like you as a human, um, but sometimes the offense and then they say something and then it becomes, I'm like, great, leave. I'm not for you, I'm not, I'm not here to serve everyone. I'm here to make a stance. And so what I do with clients a lot is we develop creeds and beliefs and like here's the things that we believe in and stand for and then we make it value. Uh, we inject it into our value, we make it forward facing. We make sure that people know through the story and the message and the branding and everything we put out what, what it is we stand for. And it's all very strategically done but it's all authentic. If we can do that, you'll have a business that'll stand the test of time and you won't find yourself in a situation, in a position where you're suffering or you're not getting clients. I hope that makes sense and I hope that it gives you some ideas that sub-niching and sub-niching is not the only way to do it. It's, I think, the old way of doing it and I think that way is not relevant anymore. Truly hope that helps. For anything else, check out lucasrubix.com. We've got a free program and we've got a new 42-minute free training on how to turn your gifts, your knowledge, your experience, that thing inside you and your story into an online coaching business. No more certifications, no more schooling, no more books. You can take what you know and turn it into an online coaching coaching business today, starting now. 42 minute training, no opt-in, no email required. LucasRubis.com slash training. I'll put the link around here somewhere. Truly hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video. When did one and more become such a bad thing? I've always lived my life with the simple philosophy that when everyone is going left, you go right. When everyone is doing things one way, you go the other. You do not conform, you do not blend in, you do not blindly follow the masses for as long as you stay a sheep you will never get what you want now all i'm asking you is that you go after that thing you want with a relentless drive no matter what anyone thinks of you no matter what the world says to you no matter how you feel or how tired you may be you go after it like your life depends on it the only question I have for you is are you willing to do whatever it takes?